got along quite well. You know what I mean? Wait, so what is this rapier Nova? Too late. Vinny, we need a farm fucking armor, dude. Right now we're just gonna hang out and fucking AFK this shit <laughs> for the most part. Thank you, Jew and Palewing. What is an essential weapon for Inferno? I missed that part. Oh, the rapier. I think I had a lancer? I don't know if I have a rapier for the wing diver class. Oh, no, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got the rapier Nova. But the thing is, I gotta get in close with her. I thought the whole point of being a flying bitch was to fucking fight long range. And by the way, I use bitch as a loving word, not derogatory. So does like your dad play Street Fighter? Yeah, yeah they do, but they fucking, they're, but they're fucking squishy though. Well, I mean, I guess not. In this game, armor is everything, right? I've just seen wing divers go down and down and down, and my fucking fat ranger ass has to run around and blow up buildings so that they'll collapse and I can pick them up. I don't see how two people are doing on Inferno mode. You think on Inferno mode you need four fucking badasses? But I guess these guys are just so badass, they don't fucking need us. You never been down on a woman? Let me teach you a secret there, Pale Wing. When you go down on a woman... No, 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 you can and you will. Right? So anyway, piece of advice. And you spread them... You spread them lips, you find the man on the boat, and then using your tongue, you spell the letters of the alphabet. And then whichever letter she starts screaming, just keep repeating that letter. And then you're good to go. Or you can always use my favorite technique, the velvet buzzsaw. You just take your tongue, stick it out slightly, and go... And it's a and it's a bus on that's velvet. It's true. I I read it in a book called The Sensual Gentleman, and it was like use the velvet buzz saw. But the thing is, you can't be too hard. The man on the boat is sensitive. It's got to be a light buzz saw. You guys don't think I've done my research? I've done my homework. You must think I was a kind of creepy thirty-three-year-old man. Who only thinks about pleasing women. Well, you're right, but you're also wrong. Because I'm also about teaching youth on how to be real proper gentlemen. And when ordering for a lady, look at her in the eye and say, The lady will have this. And if she gives you a look, be like, Scratch that. The lady will have this instead. Pale wing, I respect that. There's few people that do that nowadays. But also, like I said, fucking velvet buzzsaw, bro. Damn, this laser's strong as fuck, boy. And I'm dead. Also, one thing, don't ever, 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 ever forget to do chores. Go 
gold ass do 30,000 K damage? Can I even get that much armor? I mean, even then, not with limits. Okay, I see. Yeah, there was that, um, I remember that being a setting that I couldn't control, as a matter of fact, when I wanted to create a room. I can't do jack shit. I've got fucking no armor with this bitch. This simple ass bitch. Damn, silver spiders? I haven't seen these before. No, I need a farm normal mode, just like you suggest. I gotta get fucking my armor up. This is just ridiculous. I don't know what weapon you're using, but that's fucking dope. Ah, hold on, there's a douchebag trying to get you. There's a running douchebag, and it's not a frogman. I guess that's an ultra rare drop, or not so much. I killed one. I'm coming, Vincenzo. Well, fine then. I'm gonna scare the battlefield. No! Pick up the weapon box! What the hell is a zone protector? Hold on. Yeah. I'll use my stationary guns. Whoa, electromagnetic wall. God, I gotta go through all this shit and read it. Alright, Zerk gun it is. Guard assist gun. Life vendor. Alright, life vendor it is. Vehicle. Is this the underground one? Well, kick him out. You're an adult. Have you tried pissing outside? Me and Vinny used to piss out a window. <laughs> when we lived above our stepdad's garage, it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> we'd be fucked up, so we didn't want to go downstairs and risk waking him up. So we'd open the window and just piss outside. <laughs> Fuck, Vinny, you remember those days? How are you going to get in trouble if you don't get caught? You can also get a piss jug like truckers do. Just like get a two liter bottle of Mountain Dew, finish it, and there's your piss jug. Ah, uh, stepmother.
Not that I've got anything against stepmothers. Mine have always been cordial, but I've never had piss jugs. Caught by my stepmother, that is. She's a good woman, but she doesn't fuck you. That's not a stepmom then, bro. You never seen fucking Pornhub or X Hamster? Have you tried calling her a cunt? That's your grown ass man? You'd be surprised how far that goes. I'm just kidding. Don't call your stepmother a cunt until you've got your own place. and he's talking to you he's asking if you got the probe type probe type I am at the fucking for the ranger Support equipment. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, hold on. Hold on, bro. Let me check mine. Yes, I've got, I've got a probe type S. Item acquisition range 150%. Allied heal plus 10%. It's probably not the one you're looking for. Vinny, you want to beat your ass in Street Fighter. Oh, God. Wait, do you want me to change to Ranger then? Or what? Vinny, spend fucking... I think it was like 18 bucks and you buy the DLC. Alright, keep an air raider. Pale wing. What is, what is best type? Clearly, you use Wing Diver a lot. Is that just because you have a particular weapon? Or just like being a lady? Fair enough. He's saying wing diver or fencer for safety, meaning that he'll survive longer. He uses air raider for damage. Maybe he's going for DPS, which is what he stated earlier. Ranger's just all around fucking. I just like. I, I like Ranger class. I like being a dude with a gun. And I know that's stupid and short sighted, but. 
Ranger is garbage unless specific. You talking about sniper? <laughs> Yeah, Ranger really doesn't have much maneuverability. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, no, no, he says you can't play. Just not use level 100 weapons. Uh, okay, that makes sense. But it's not like you level 100 weapons anyway. I mean, you get them, but you can't use them. Yeah, you know what? I actually read that when I was slightly digging through forums earlier. Trying to get reacquainted with this game. And I went up and down the internet trying to find a PlayStation fucking discount code, but good luck with that. My mic for EDF. I just wanted to say this because it's like a. This will help you a lot for like. A lot of gamings because it'll save you a lot of money but since you guys are brothers I highly suggest game sharing like figuring out how to do it I do it with my brother and like to the thing about game yeah. sharing is that you get every game that like for example any game that uh, that bang buys or any game that Mickey buys you guys both get it so like for example instead of both paying full price for a game why not just split on it you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, but the but question, question is, how do I do that? It's actually very easy. This is how I did it with my brother. Um, I just have his account on my PlayStation, and I have my PlayStation set as primary. I mean, have my yeah. PlayStation set on primary on his account, and vice versa. So, yeah, it's very simple. And you guys are brothers, so you guys obviously should trust each other and stuff like that. Because like yeah, one I big do. thing about it is just do it with people that you trust, and you can only do it with one person at a time. But like, still though, that's like a huge that's like a huge benefit. Like just imagine yeah, like but, just splitting on everything. Yeah, but if I game share, does that mean I can play the game also? Yes, you can. I do it with my brother. It all depends on like the. It's because like so. Here's the thing, is that like the primary account can use any game. So like you buy it on one account, right? So like yeah, I bought the DLC, so I own it. Yes. So the thing is, is that like for example, like I'll just put it with a game, hmm, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, right? Sure. I have my brother's account activated as primary on my PlayStation, right? So any account, any account that I have on this PlayStation, since his is act, since this PlayStation is active as primary, can use any game that my brother has. Now. If he had another account on his PlayStation, right? My brother's name is Alex. If Alex tries to play on, say, I don't know, Juan, this is just a made-up account. So he tried to play on Juan's account. Since it's not primary, he can't play the game that he bought on his account on Juan's account on his PlayStation. But he could still play the game that he bought on his own account. So, essentially, I get to play it on whatever account that since his is activated as primary on my PlayStation and he could play it on his account but since he's going to be using his account anyways that's not exactly a hindrance because he doesn't have multiple accounts so you kind of understand what I'm trying to say yeah I, I, I do but I need to get some uh, straight here so on my PlayStation I'm the primary account so right now as it stands he cannot share games like, if he were me. to download the games, he could still download it as long as he has your account on his PlayStation. But if it's not primary, he can't use it unless he's using your account. But ah. if he sets your account as primary on his PlayStation and vice versa, then you guys could use each other's games and such. Definitely yeah. worth looking into. Yeah, because that, that, that could save you guys a lot of money considering you guys are well, brothers, so I'm assuming you trust each well, other. Well, we both bought Ghost of Tsushima 
And I spent money on the DLC because I'm an idiot because it needs fucking horse armor. Anyway, but the, the point is that I could have bought the game once and we both could have been playing it. Exactly. Yeah, you guys could have you guys could have saved like it would lit like this is how me and my brother see it is that it's literally a half off discount for literally everything because since we both get it, right? As long as you buy it digital, it's all about digital though. You can't buy it physical, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I buy, I buy most of my shit digital anyway. The only games I have physical are the uh, Final Fantasy VII remake that I bought first class edition, three hundred fifty fucking bucks. God damn. And then, uh, and then Bloodborne. But yeah, that's that. Uh, like, you, if you were to give him that, like, if you guys were to uh, game share right now, he could. Like, it's just a shame that like you can't refund, cause like, if only you could refund, he'd get all the money for like all the games that he bought on his account back that you guys mutually have. That's too bad. That's not a thing. But um, yeah, essentially, that's like a huge. That's literally like a 50% discount on all the games, considering instead of buying it twice, you're only buying it once. Like, if you think about it like that. So, if I were to surmise this in a sentence, I need to make his account primary on my PlayStation. In order to use his shit, and vice versa. In order for him to use oh, yours... Oh, in order to use his shit. Yeah, in order for you to use so his shit, need to you need to use... I need to be primary on his, then. Yeah, in order for him because to use yours. Because I have most of the stuff. Yes, sir. Alright, 10-4. That's pretty... That's, yeah... So that means don't use my credit card, Vinny. Are you even awake? So long as it ain't for fucking Snapchat, you simp. By what? Did you okay. do that at the script club? Like a real man. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna send. I'm gonna. Whenever I put a mark, I want you guys to go there and focus fire on targets nearby there. Or I just want you to go there. So this is where I'm marking. Because there's going to be a ginormous anchor there and a ginormous anchor here. How do here, I go also underwater? Over. You cannot go underwater. If you go in water, like. I'll tell you this right now. If I go in water, I'm dead with a guy of my strength. There's nothing you can do in water. No character has any answer for water besides Air Raider being in a vehicle that's tall enough to survive it. But then again, the only vehicle like that is the Barga. Which is a giant robot. But yeah, vehicles die instantly in water and you cannot fly no matter what character you are. You can't fly out of the water, you can't swim faster, there's no answer. But the bugs can still hit you and the bugs hit you for full damage. Well, the only reason why I ask because there's a lot of items in this water where I'm at. That's why I was asking for prototype, because prototype is the only way to collect underwater. Oh, because of the range. Yes. Which I do have equipped. Uh, well, maybe not on this character. I think the ranger does. It's only ranger. It's only ranger. I thought so. Yeah. Can you do me a favor, though, since you guys are down, because this guy's not in the party. Jew, he's a friend of mine, but he's not in the party. Um, can you message in the chat saying to... Uh, not kill at all on the final wave. Don't chill on final wave? Do not kill at all on the final wave. Alright, you said Jew, right? Yeah, to Jew. Alright, hold on. Uh, I don't know if I got Jew as a friend. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 just message it over here in the EDF chat. Actually, I can't hear right. Hold on. Uh, soft oh, shit, I forgot the main strat. Since <laughs> Sometimes, this is one of the main reasons why I usually keep uh, my headset off. It's because sometimes when I get rambling, I'm a rambly kind of guy. I uh, lose. So am I. I was talking about focus. eating pussy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I'm like, right now, I'm the, you could say, leading the charge, so that's why, like, sometimes I just need to focus. Funny enough, Dude, I can still focus bro. while typing. <laughs> You're totally fine. Don't, don't kill on Final Wave, wave and I just said that out loud all along. Yeah, and say, don't kill it, on, uh, like, put on at all after that. Jew, space, don't. Oh wait, he's dead. I'll just not revive him. <laughs> it's because I have a trick. Like you, you guys know. Do you guys know any like the basic principles of farming in this game? Uh, no. All right, so I'll just explain the whole thing to you. You want to 
So for farming, and this is something not on this mission specifically, not with your guys' current strength. Um, so farming in this game, a good method of farming is either going to a really quick, fast-paced mission with a lot of enemies that drop a lot of loot, and um, just simply uh, and simply. Um, killing them fast, collecting all the items, and then just repeating the mission over and over again for armor farming. Or, another great way is to farm, like, you know the, the, um, the anchors that they drop from the sky that, like, spawn enemies, right? Yes, yeah, the ones you have to shoot and blow up. Leave the anchors alive. Okay, don't kill anything. Leave the anchors alive, and, um, oh, you're a ranger and aerator. Leave the anchors alive, and then... There we go, I'm just blowing oh, you guys up there. Oh, okay, thank you. It's because this mountain is hard to climb. You can't climb it unless you go all the way around to the beach. Oh, you are? Shit. Give me one moment. No, Vinny, you're good. I'm the one that's stuck down here. Yeah. I can't kill this ant. Not risking it yet. Or, yeah. It's fine. It's because I'm just going to have you guys die anyways. I just wanted to show you the technique. That's why I'm getting you up there so you can see me. Nice. Okay, so you guys are up here. Good job. I'll collect this health because I need it. Because this, this mission is actually quite... Uh, it's dangerous for me and I have to actively like look out for stuff. Oh, don't kill the ant. Don't kill the ant. So... Ah, uh, sorry. Okay, never mind. He fucking survived my onslaught. Okay, good. So I'm just moving him here. That way you guys can get a good view. Come over here, like right here, specifically right here. I can't run as this character. Nope. You can just roll. Rolling is faster than walking. But yeah. So anyways, as I was saying, the uh, trick is to like get one of the get one of those anchors and go to like. Either anchors or the teleportation ships that spawn enemies. Okay, come right here, uh, Mickey. And you, uh, you just keep kill like you just keep letting the enemies spawn. All right, I'm just gonna kill you right quick. You keep letting the enemies spawn, and you just keep killing them and infinitely collecting items. You kind of get that principle, right? It's relatively simple. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. But, like. The more anchors, like specific enemies give more, uh, more loot, and also like the more anchors the better, if you could handle it. Like for example, you'd be getting like 10 times the enemies with 10 anchors, right? So... Well, I mean you figure if I put one turret for each fucking anchor... Well no, the turrets will kill the anchors, so you don't want that. Oh, no but look mind. at all these anchors oh, right here. You see all them? I'm gonna farm every single one of them. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen that I can see. A lot. <laughs> I'm gonna farm every single one of them. So, you can only do the, like, if you could survive the farm, it all depends on your weapons and armor. Like, for example, on easy mode, like, you know how I have like 400,000 armor now, right? When I started right. farming this, it was shortly after I beat the campaign, and I only had like 8,000-ish armor, 7,000, 8,000-ish armor when I started farming this, and this is what got yeah. me here, because um, you get, like, from my rough calculations, if you do it the AFK method with Ranger, you get like 500 armor in like 15 minutes, but if you do the active farming method with Wing Diver, and this is all on easy difficulty, you get like yeah. 700, like you get like, you get 500 armor in around 10 minutes instead of 15. So I would... How do you, how do you AFK if you can't use turrets? Oh, with Ranger, you would use the vault, like this is why I say you need like a high enough armor for it, but you would use this weapon called the Volcanic Napalm, which shoots like a fire, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like where it shoots like a fire yeah. and then it lays yeah, on the ground. Yeah, I know what Napalm is, yeah. Yeah. And then... You just keep, you'd put a rubber band on your controller and set a timer for 15 minutes and aim down and shoot. So, depending on the equipment you have, if you have the special recovery device, you could do it with around 5,000 armor. But if you don't have the special recovery device, you have to, you have to, like, you could use a level 66 probe type 
and do it with 10,000 armor. But the thing about that is that the probe type gets you more armor quick, like it'll get you more armor and stuff like it'll help it'll collect more for you so it's better but mm -hmm. to get to that 10,000 armor I recommend doing the special recovery device as a 5,000 or as a 5 to 10,000 ranger then once you get 10,000 above use the probe type and that's how I became like how strong I am but I didn't use the ranger variation I used the wing diver wing diver is not yeah. AFK but it's significantly faster you have to actually participate and do stuff yourself as wing diver but it is so much faster and I limits mean, are you off you whenever you do it solo. If two hours a day, then that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. If you think about it, two hours a day, 15 minutes each, 500 armor every 15 minutes for two hours, how much armor is that in a day? Welcome, Alex. Oh, by the way, this is the brother that I was talking about. Your brother. Alex. You ever drink, ba you ever drink Bailey's from a shoe? Huh? Go to a club, we on each other. I have no idea what that is. It is a muddy boosh skid. Go, go, go to YouTube and type in old Greg. And you'll soon learn. I'll do that after tonight's sessions of EDF. I mean, I mean, I honestly don't expect you to do that right now. But you're missing out if you don't watch old Greg! Lila, <laughs> look at how much armor like and weapons are on the ground right now. Oh, yeah, by but the way, I'm not collecting any of it. I'm collecting it, and you're getting every single bit. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Every armor that one person collects, it goes. It's one armor for everybody. Well, every please weapon continue. I'm gonna set my get. light down. I'm gonna grab this single bottle of rum. I'll be right back. Plus, I gotta drain the lizard. Okay. Hang tight. So, Alex, what you up to? Alex, you there? Alex, do your headset work? Yes or no? Hello? You don't hear me. I'm talking to you. I can't hear you, and I don't have you muted. Uh, I'm talking to the party. I don't hear you, Alex. Huh? I can't hear him. No, but what's up, Alex? But this case on the point is to work for a moment. Being with this guy like, came out with Fall Guys, so he hopped right back on Fall Guys. I know, right? He's it's terrible. Hold up. Hey, Alex, I'm gonna hang up on the phone because I can hear you now. There we go. Wow. Don't worry about Ace Specs. If he doesn't want our help, then we don't have to give it to him. We don't have to force our help to him. By the way, just a word of warning, my brother's on the spectrum, and he's kind of severe with it. <laughs> so just try not to be offended by him. Oh yeah. Set a timer for 11 minutes. Okay, 11 minutes and counting. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. I oh yeah, smuggled. just a word of warning. Um, yeah. My brother is on the spectrum, so try not to be offended by him. Dude, it's okay. My uh, wife is a music teacher, and she deals with people on the spectrum all the time. And that being said, I'm not offended or care. I will okay. treat him as a normal person, just like you should, because okay. it's not a handicap. That's how I view it. <laughs> Thanks. You might not uh, notice this because with me it's actually significantly like not as noticed. No, that's your problem with Porsche. Well, let me tell you one thing. I think we're all on the spectrum in a way. True, true. We all got. Because we're all unique people. I am a alcoholic, so if that doesn't put me on a spectrum of some sort, that I can't deal with my emotions or my problems without the use of a substance, does that not put me on a spectrum of some sort? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really so know much about that stuff. So who am I to judge others, you know? Yeah. 
Well, I appreciate that, because a lot of people are very quick to judge, especially in these times. No, fucking, like, dude, seriously, I'm not, I'm not even joking right now. My wife is a fucking saint, and I don't know why she married me, but she deals in helping kids that are on the spectrum, whether it be autism, Asperger's, whatever. That is her forte. And That's I have been good. to many events, and I have dealt with children, and they're children. Uh, we're not talking about full-grown adults, so I'm, I, I must admit I lack in that area. However, I can't imagine that it would be much different. I mean, if you're on a spectrum, you're on a spectrum. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not very simple. much different. So good. Welcome. I mean, I'm not fucking ever going to judge anybody. Okay. By the way, so, um... Dude, on the spectrum, what's up, bro? He means you, Alex. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fucking... Talking about <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. Yeah, he's just joking. Oh you yeah, by okay? the way, uh... Um... Uh, Mikey, is that what I call you? Mickey. Mickey. Um... So... There, the reason why I say 10 minutes, 15 minutes, depending on the character and what you're using, for the yeah. easy farm, and I'm doing the same thing as the easy farm, just on Inferno, is because there's actually a limit to how much you could collect, and then after that, when you collect, it won't really add anything to it. There's a limit, huh. and it's like a thousand something, so that's why I put on a timer. Cause that's when how I do like, you even figure that out? L by overdoing it and seeing like that I didn't that it that it was the same as like one time I did it for like 30 minutes and then I got the same stuff as when I did it for 15 minutes so like I got the timing down after many times of like doing it and just testing things because I used sense. to do it for like 30 minutes and stuff and then I was like oh shit I'm getting the same thing for doing 15 minutes and I was like oh okay speaking of the devil I mean if we're approaching that about that time limit ain't we huh Oh, no, 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 no. I meant like 13 minutes once you start, like, on the last wave. Like 15 minutes oh, when you start on the last wave, yeah. I actually, like, while you were gone, I said, oh, set a timer for 11 minutes, because, like, probably approximately four minutes has passed since I'd started. Sounds about right. Hey, Vincent, you alive? All right, you just have to say much. By the way, um, for me, every time I do this, it usually takes about only two tries, and then everybody in the lobby will usually guaranteed have every weapon from DLC 2, because this is a very good mission for it. Uh, sounds but, fantastic. I can't wait to switch classes and do this all over again. Yeah. But yeah, you have to do it in two different classes. Like, for example, you do it with, like, Ranger now or Air Raider now, and then Wing Diver later. The reason why I had you, um, I'll just explain you the meta. Wing Diver and Rangers and Fencers' best weapons all come from the DLC, but Air Raiders' yes. best weapons do not come from the DLC, but his vehicles in the DLC are the best vehicles in the game. The Nyx ah, Assault is the best, is like one of the best vehicles in the game because it's so fast and very strong. The Strike Barga is quite literally twice as good as the non-DLC Barga, which is the War Barga, because it has twice the health and twice the damage. 1.25 million health on the Strike Seems Barga. a little OP, but I guess if you're trying to do Inferno mode, they gotta give you a bow, right? It's not OP at all, actually. It goes down really fast, considering that... Remember, Gold Dance do 30,000 damage per shot. Silver Spiders... They do damage over time, but they do about, like, maybe 45,000, 50,000 damage, depending on the movement, because it could be, like, quite, there could be a lot of variation to it. Dude, I am learning so much shot. from you, because I haven't even countered gold or silver spiders, though I started playing with you today. So, I'm going to try my best to retain this knowledge, because this is a lot. Yeah. One, like, I know that I'm saying a lot of stuff but like the most important thing that you should learn like just like the most important things that you should keep in mind are that farm armor on easy mode yeah but this mission specifically turn change the game it really changed the game once the dlc's came out because before before back in the day getting like 
So doing an AFK farm for two hours would get you about 300 armor. And ever since this came out, 500 armor, 15 minutes AFK. 500 armor, 10 Holy minutes, smokes. not AFK, you know? Back in the day, 300 armor in two hours was godlike for an AFK farm. Yeah, sounds about right, because I started playing that game before the DLC came out, and trying to get armor was a biatch. Yes, but this, it's like, it's quite significant. You're probably going to get around 600 armor. I'm not saying, like, per character, I'm just saying total, but you're probably going to get 600 armor from this mission alone that we're doing right now. Well, let me redo up. it as a ranger! Because Wing Diver needs it the most. I mean, Air Raider is important. Because, like, the uh, one main thing that yeah. I'm trying to get you is vehicles, because you know how you guys were dying left and right? Yeah. yeah. Vehicles will help supplement that. Like, for example, the Nyx Assault has 90,000 health. So, if you get in that bad boy and just hop around, you won't... Like, Air Raider is the most, you could say, light armor-friendly class because he has vehicles to supplement his armor. You know? Yes, that doesn't make sense. But he also can't run or jump. Exactly. But you got guys like, say, me and Jew killing a bunch of stuff. That way you can get in said vehicles. Ah, indeed. And Air Raider with the Nyx Assault is probably, can arguably be faster than Wing Diver. Not as mobile, but like in a forwards direction faster. Does your brother play this game too? He's the one who got me into EDF way back. <laughs> How way back are we talking? I have the original Earth Defense Force. You, you notice my name is Tail Wing. You know where that comes from, right? Uh, no, I don't remember. EDF2. EDF2? Yeah. Ah, you just triggered my memory. Pale Wing and wow. Storm 1. Yep. Because it was like my childhood. <laughs> the my reason why I'm able to type so fast is because I have like thousands of hours upon multiple EDF games. I was born in 1987. My uh, child consists of... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario Brothers 3, and uh, uh, Super Mario RPG, which is why I bought the Switch, the greatest console available right now in my humble opinion. The Switch is good because anything. like, school. A lot of people would just bring it at lunch at school. <laughs> Dude, I bought the Doom Collection. I got, do I got all of the Dooms saved. Doom Eternal. Yeah. Which I got on PC. This is, uh... Let, let's see how much time... I, I look forward to seeing... You know, this is one thing that I have. It's like a little, you could say, ritual of mine. Or like a... Just a... Uh, a thing of mine. I like people to, like... Every time I do this, I like people to count and tell me how much new stuff they got. New slash upgrades. <laughs> I would love nothing more than at the end of this mission to tell you exactly what I've gotten. Alright. And maybe I can but, tell you what you get that's really good. Because like I said, for all the characters, the meta is in, like, okay. So Air Raider is a little bit different. Like, for example, his best airstrikes are the level 88 Phobos and 86 KM6. And those yeah. are not DLC. But for everything else, like, for example, the level 101 Rapier is, like, three times better than the level 80 rapier. The level... Three times? Because it, like, it three times better doesn't exactly do three times the damage, but it has significantly larger range, and it does about twice the damage. Well, when you factor that in, that makes sense. Yeah. And the phalanx, like I said, the phalanx does 120,000 damage per second, and that's just a low estimate. That's not exact calculation, that's just a low estimate. Due to my calculations. You guys can mock me all you want, but I am a uh, purist in the sense that I love playing the Ranger class. Ranger has the bet like Ranger has the biggest upgrades from the DLC. For example, the Blazer is objectively oh, besides Air Raiders uh, airstrikes. Out of all the handheld yeah. weapons, the Blazer is the best handheld weapon in the game. Because it has great range, great damage, the only thing bad about it is it's reload time. 
This but is, it could be compensated by the M A ten. It is a it is an assault rifle that shoots sixty shots per second and has nine hundred ninety nine shots per clip. Per yeah, sixty per second with nine hundred ninety nine shots in the clip. How do they even make such a weapon that has to be DLC? It is DLC, yeah. Okay, it's, I thought so. Jeez like I said, Louise. the range, like the for wing diver, fencer, and ranger, the best weapons are DLC. The only weapons that are better, that are non DLC, are for air raider, which are only two. But the vehicles are quite literally twice as good in the DLC. Like I see, the DLC barga is just the regular barga with double health and double damage. So yeah. The DLC makes a huge difference in EDF gameplay. Ginormous difference. I'm fucking blown away. And also the the turret on the aerator. I only bought it to play with other people. I didn't realize the rewards. Yeah, because 4.1 didn't have rewards, but in 5 it's different. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was my alarm that went off. All right, I'll just co collect and then kill all these guys. Just give me a moment. Collect to your heart's content, brother. Of course. Now, you're saying this armor goes across all classes? Like, okay, so like, you'll see at the end, like, you'll see like 200 for, you'll see like 200 something or for your air raider, you'll see like 100 something for your wing diver, you'll see like, yeah, you get it, right? Oh, okay, 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 so it's staggered in that sense, but everyone still gets some. Yeah, it's staggered. Alright, But also, it's not proportional. Like, for example, every three, okay, like, every two boxes ish is armor is one health point for Fencer. Every, like, three or four armor boxes is one, like, not saying staggered, I'm just talking about the number, right? So, like, say at yeah. the end, it says, um, that you have, like, uh, say at the end, it says that you collected. 400 armor for ranger that'll only increase your health by 100 points uh, So there's a lot of division to it No, 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 not just that it's not split among not just the split amongst the four But like each one of those numbers cuz like each one of them you could say Think of it as XP each one of them takes more XP like one of them some of them take more XP to level up the health than others. Like for example, Fencer takes the least amount of XP to level up his health than others, right? Wing Diver sure. takes the most amount of XP than others. So basically what you get at the end... That is surprising actually, because the Wing Diver seems handicapped amongst most of them. Well, no, you see me doing work with this Wing Diver. I don't well, play... Well, that's because he's got the phalanx. <laughs> that's true. Well, you could also get the phalanx. The wing diver has insane, like, wing diver has insanely higher damage, insanely higher, like, other than fencer, wing diver has ex insanely higher mobility. When it comes to going against fencer, wing diver has insanely more versatile mobility. So, of course, well, the fencer seems a bit of a tank. He's More a tank, a and he has the best mobility, but he has absolute garbage damage. He has the worst damage in the game by far. Yeah, and every weapon he has has stiff accuracy. Yes. So, like, Ranger does very good damage, but it's, like, very concentrated. He has no good AoE. Wing Diver has right. such high damage that she doesn't need AoE, although she has great AoE as well. Air Raider has airstrikes that have a great AOE that do like totals of like two, three million damage. Yeah, but it's spread across a wide area. For summoning AOE all the time and it constantly roll out of the red field of damage. I was like, dude, chill out. He's like, just chill out, man, I got you. He yeah. was he was helping me much like you, but I was you know like like, like I said, I love the Ranger class. Nothing makes me happier than just being a dude with a fucking gun running in. Oh, I understand because the playstyle not only is it simplistic, but it's like you're a ground soldier. You're like infantry, dude. The con not only is it simplistic gameplay, but it's the concept, dude. Foot soldier, right. 
not a lot of high tech going against these big monsters. I completely understand. No, no need to overcomplicate with summoning machines or flying, just go in, shoot, and kill. Exactly. Which to me is what EDF originally was. Symbolizes to me. Yeah. With Wing Diver, I love her just because she was my first character. Because my yeah. brother would always say, Oh, you have to play as the girl if you're going to play with me. <laughs> and yeah, I'm like, is that what he said? That's funny. But yeah. But then it turns out that she's a fucking badass. And I love it. Uh, I just got one shot again. Damn it all. These, the regular Grey Ants do like... They... They do more than this, but like the amount that'll hit you is probably around one to two thousand damage. Cause like you know how they miss a lot of their shots. Yeah. I mean they miss a lot of their spread. Like totally they probably do like four K. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm gonna revive you guys just because. I don't know if this is a fact. Maybe this is a placebo. But for me, whenever I was down, I would receive less good loot. You know, like the Vinny. loot would be as good. Maybe it's just a placebo. I ha I can't say that I can confirm it, but it's just from experience. I think I think my brother passed out. Maybe. Let me try to call him. Tell me what you get though. Oh, you uh, didn't get that much here. armor. That's whatever. Armor raises HP 229, Ranger 93, Wing Diver 94, Fencer 74. Uh, yeah. Z Blaster, Absolute Bunker, Limpet Chain Gun, Bold Laser Beam Mode, Z Limpet That's Chain a great Gun one. Up, That's a great one. Armored Vehicle Grape, Black. Dude, I can't even begin, dude. This list is fucking a pay, like. Uh, this is. Oh, my good lord. Yeah. Let's I just say a lot. <laughs> I bet you guys would think that you got a relatively decent, like, experience of EDF Danny. tonight. Oh, he left, he left. He left. Thank goodness he left after we won, because hopefully he still got the loot, you know? Hopefully it saved and he got the loot. I mean, I hope so. I'm calling his bitch ass now. It's fine if he does. If he's tired, though. It's fine. I mean, he's got work tomorrow. We don't need to... Pass out from the PlayStation. Yeah. Alright, I'm a booting from the party. It is what it is. Okay. I don't usually, by the way, if I see somebody with 100% in my lobby, I usually kick them because they don't need help. So, mm. I like having an open slot for people who, yeah. So, unless I'm familiar with them already, I usually kick people with 100%. That way. They can, uh, yeah. How do I, how do I boot him from the party? By the way, um, uh, well, let's go back to the regular missions now. Since you have a, uh, oh, wait, yeah. You have, like, a since you have a good aerator, and it's because, like I said, once you hop in a vehicle, you'll be fine. Oh. Oh wait, did you say you wanted to be Ranger? Uh I mean I mean honestly it's okay because I'm just kind of rolling through um How can I put this? Characters. Oh by the way I suggest being a um I suggest being a a wing diver for this one. We're gonna do a different mission, but it's DLC one. Try Phalanx. It might be lower level than the. Uh... Oh yeah, Super Pulse Machine Gun. Keep that. That's also essential for farming. Super Pulse Machine Gun is very. It's a very dangerous weapon, but it's also the safest weapon in the game, if you could use yeah. it right. It's because, like, you saw how I was using it earlier to block entrances. That way monsters won't yes. get through. It's, like, it's good for that, and it's also good at spawn killing because it has a great it has great stun lock, and it has great area of effect.
But yeah, for low armor, Air Raider tears ass. Oh yeah, that's that's something I have as a preset message, and I accidentally clicked it with my thumb. No, no, that, that I was you know, trying to call Vinny to make sure he crawls his fat ass in the bed. I see. And he like straight to voicemail. Oh, I hate to call my dad. Probably don't want to lose his job. By the way, I know this mission in and out. Because <laughs> this was one of my old farming for weapons. Yeah. This is a great weapon farm. I would demonstrate this for you, but like I... For, oh yeah, 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 good. He's got his shit together. Or not, he does not. <laughs> I so if I use a monster lance and let it go, it's just a fucking thing. With the super pulse machine gun, ah, you charge it and then you let it go, and then it does that. I like it. It's really good, but it has. Damn, it's still going. It has a lot of ammo, but it has its flaws. Did I it's... just kill myself with it? Yes, it has huge AOE. So, like I said, ah, it could be safe, okay. but this gun it takes a lot of skill to use. Like, because if you like point down once, it has good DPS, but it'll fucking kill you instantly. <laughs> No, no, that actually makes a lot of sense. And I'm glad they shared that with me. And the guy that I'm playing with made huge mistakes and kind of screwed us over if we did this limits on. But we have limits off, so it's easy. I used to do this Are you with about limits our on. Chinese friend? Yeah. So obviously I can't communicate to him right now. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. I speak Spanish and I speak English. I do not speak Chinese. I wish Cantonese. I did. Chinese. Yeah. Or Chinese, excuse me, part of my... Either way, I, I, I don't know the languages. Reason. I know there's Mandarin, and I know there's one other, there's like a couple other. So, my cousin is telling me that he's got good news and bad news. The bad news worries me. The good news, I hope it's significant enough to put off the bad news. Go on. <laughs> I, he hasn't told me what it is yet. Is someone in that armor I'm destroying? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The big guys with armor, like on Inferno, the big guys that are like super that are super heavily armored, some of them have over. They have a couple hundred thousand health. Yeah, you're gonna need a high DPS weapon to deal with those guys. And it looks like the Super Pulse machine gun is the fucking ticket. Powerful. It doesn't no, match so the... Much. Huh? I thought I said awful. Oh no, it's powerful. If it... Trust me, for me, I know that some people like to... Oh, I like to use awful weapons to challenge myself. But... I like to use the best stuff to help people out as fast as I can and as efficiently as I can. That's my objective in EDF. The monster land seems pretty good, but it's a short charge. Wow, yeah. that was quick. That's the good thing about it, is that you could use it very fast. The monster lance and the rapier are very good because they're both very energy efficient. I like the rapier personally, but some people love the monster lance. One guy told me that the Monster Lance has the highest DPS better than Phalanx, but what I say, I say he either doesn't have the max level Phalanx or he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. 